Hey guys, I just wanted to do a really quick um, uh, post-op update. Um, I'm past three weeks, but I'm just gonna make this my three week. Um, sorry, I'm like really close. I'm just sitting on the bathroom floor. I just wanted to make this really quick because I've been having problems with like having space on my phone and I do plan on buying like a hard drive thingy so I can unload some of the stuff because I have way too many pictures and videos on my phone. So anyways, um, I wanted to do a quick post-op update. Um, overall, I'm doing well. The only thing that I've been having problems with is um, my jaw pain, um, which I have a pre-existing jaw issue. Um, so, and then having two MSC surgeries has really affected it. Plus like any dental work that I get done like really affects it. So um, I've had a lot of pain. It's been hard to eat. And um, my cat is coming into the washroom because she has to know what I'm doing. Hey, Smooths. Hey, Smooths. So it's causing me to have like headaches like all the time. And I actually just got back from the store because I had to pick up a few things. Um, but I had to get some more Tylenol, like regular Tylenol. Um, because I've been trying to take that to keep the pain down, but it has been really hard. Um, and I've also been having another health issue, which I had an abdominal ultrasound yesterday for that, um, which that was actually really painful because of the pain that I've been having on my side. So, and I do go for blood work next week, and then after that I'll find out, like, if there is anything going on or if it's just my body being my body. So other than the jaw pain and the headaches, um, the incision is healing really well. The, my dissolvable stitches are like slowly kind of coming out. Um, it's almost like they're like growing out. It's kind of weird, but, um, and then I only really get dizzy like every now and then I'll have moments of dizziness, but, um, especially like if I overdo it, like I feel overall like well, so it's hard to not overdo it when you feel okay but like you're still healing you went through a big surgery so yeah um so i haven't really the dizziness has definitely gone better which i thought it would never would and in the end like i really i only had it for a short amount of time like two two and a half weeks or so so that is going well. I In the last week, I've been able to drive again, which I wasn't sure like when I would be able to, but um, I'm able to drive, which is nice because if I want to get out of the house and since I'm not really doing a whole lot, just trying to like heal and stuff, I can go for drives. And it's actually better if I drive because I feel like I know when I'm like, I can stop slowly, I can start slowly, I can take the turns like easy. So, but uh. So I've been able to drive and I'm mostly, you know, feeling overall okay other than my other health issue that I've been having and um, the the really bad, bad pain. Like, it's just the muscles are super tight and because of my existing jaw issue, which I'm going to have to, um, like, I can just feel like how it's just so s tight and swollen. So yeah, that's another issue that I'll probably talk about at some point in time. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to get up this three week, I guess it's past three weeks, so I don't know. Um, and the next update I'll do is when I go for my post-op appointment on April 14th. So after that appointment, I will do another update. So this is just a super quick update on how I'm doing. Oh, and I guess like... I have noticed over time, which I know as I heal, I'll probably notice things more and more, that a lot of my um, semicircular like symptoms are getting better. I am hopeful that um, the surgery worked this time and it's just a matter of it sticking and staying that way. Like I don't have pul pulsatile, I think, is that how you say it? Pul pulsatile tinnitus. Um, that has gone away, which has been so nice because that always made my anxiety go up. And it was hard to exercise or do anything because of the booming in my ear. Um, so that's gone. Most most of the plugging feeling is also gone from my ear. So that's been nice. I feel like it's just been a lot quieter on the side. 
The only thing now is that I notice more of my symptoms on this side. So that's something I'm gonna have to talk to you about with my ENT surgeon. But yeah, I'm really hopeful and I know as time goes on, um, like I also don't notice my footsteps booming in my ear. Uh, like they, like I hear my footsteps, but I think it's more like normal. Um, not like in my ear, so, um, and my eyes are a lot quieter. I still hear it on this side, but on this side, like, I've been trying to do, like, testing to see, like, what's changed and whatnot, so, um, I think over time, like, it, it just takes time to know, um, 100%, but so far, yeah, I'm hopeful and I'm happy that I am noticing a change, um, a positive change, so, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great Easter weekend and I will update you when I see my surgeon on April 14th, which is actually a day after my birthday. So um, I might do like a get ready with me birthday, um, birthday makeup thing. I don't know, cause I kind of feel like I wanna get done up for it, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a great weekend and thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to follow along my journey or watch any of my other videos that I do. Uh, yeah, bye.